Up to Mount Arbel, you can gain a wonderful view of the Sea of Galilee. A significant new discovery by the sea is the village of Magdala, with its synagogue and altar stone. The Catholic Church has built a beautiful retreat center and memorial church. At Magdala was also found the best preserved mosaic of a ship. And ships still sail this freshwater lake. And kids still play there. Nearby is Kibbutz Nof Ginnisar, where a first century boat is preserved. Heptapagon means seven springs, also called Tabga. Though the church was firebombed by some teenage fanatics, the church still stands as a witness to when Jesus fed the 5,000. Next door is the church of Peter's primacy, if you can believe it. Inside the church is the traditional rocky table where Jesus fed his disciples after the resurrection. Just a quarter of a mile away is the town of Capernaum. But the big fisherman with the key to the kingdom is highlighted here also. Even his house is enshrined in a church. This church is built over two other churches that mark the location of Peter's house. Almost next door are the ruins of the 5th century synagogue built on the foundations of a 1st century synagogue. The synagogue may have looked like this. But Jesus had some judgmental words to say about Capernaum. He also had the same to say about Bethsaida, now in ruins too. Up the mountainside is Chorazin, which also received a stern rebuke from the Lord. Here are the ruins of another synagogue along with businesses and homes. Continuing back to the sea, we come to the city of Tiberias, though it was not even mentioned in the New Testament. Much of the old city center has the crusader-style fortress architecture. Tiberius was famous for its synagogue, also with Helios, the sun god, and the zodiac, which were later copied by many other Jewish synagogues in the 4th and 5th century. Nearby is the hot springs of Tiberius. On a mountainside on the other side of Tiberias is the proposed Messianic Fields of Wheat Hospitality Village, soon to be acquired for ministry purposes. What a location overlooking the beautiful sea 